People, I am sitting atop the flybridge of a Cutwater 32 command bridge. And one of the most interesting things is, sitting up here, man, of course you feel like the king of the world, but let's say you want to take the boat somewhere far away, you want to have a trailer. What are you going to do? Well, if you see this beefy, thick stainless steel hinge right there, you might guess, yeah, this whole top can be folded back and folded down so the boat is trailerable. In fact, that's just one of the many, many, many things on this boat that transforms from one shape into another. Come on aboard and let's take a look at some more. Transformer number two. Check this out. Flip the top back. Flip this up. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. You've got an electric grill. Oh, and a sink. Nice, right? But this is just one out of many more things. Let's consider, for example, oh, how about that seat right there? That is actually a swing out gunnel seat. The entire port side of this boat is one more big giant, check this out. Flip it up. Oh, you got your stove and your microwave under there. Flip this one up. Yep, there's your sink. Got some more cabinetry down there. Flip this one up. Oh, now you got a seat. There we go. You got a seat ah, for a passenger to face forward. Now, you might look at this side of the boat and say, well, wait a minute. You got a nice big helm seat, but you know, you can't really use the, uh, the dinette like that, right? Well, if I just grab the bar here and go like this, now it turns into a dinette seat. I got my cup holders here. Let's say I want more eating area. Not a problem. Boom. There you go. Now, what about the seat back there, the F seat? Oh, we're going to have to look at this one separate. This seat here, people, you just flip this up. Here, I'll get out of the way so you can get down there and check this out. There's an entire cabin under there. It's a nice roomy berth. Inside the lower cabin, there's a head on the starboard side. It's interesting. It's got this shower swing out protector there. So it serves as a head and a shower without the entire head getting wet. And then this is something you don't usually see on boats of this size. The berth isn't really a V berth. This is a pedestal berth. You can access it from both sides. It's a nice perk to find on a boat like this. You know, when it comes to finding a unique boat in the 32 foot class, uh, it's kind of tough to do. There are a million one boats out there. A lot of them are sort of vanilla. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. That does not describe the Cutwater. This is one unusual boat. So if you think you might be interested in one, Check it out for yourself.